So, we've got the Crimson Iron right here. Question is, no it cannot. It cannot be made into a molten form. So, off to the Golden Furnace we go, old chap. Tally-ho and all that. Since we're out of coal, I am just going to quickly grab some lava to power this baby. There we go. Now we've just got to wait for the Crimson Iron to turn into this uh, blob of amorphous pixels. And then we just have to use that blob of amorphous pixels to make the salvager. There we go. Just four on this side, four on this side, some obsidian, a block of iron, and a piston, which all of which can be found in there. Well, I mean, everything except the piston, apparently. Let's just fix that. And there we go. One piston in the top. Now we can make ourselves the salvager. Now, I don't believe this requires power. But just in case, I think I'm going to put this down in the create room. Or I guess it's not even really the create room anymore. It's just sort of the machine room uh, until we get to sort of separate all of this out. There we go. And now I just have to drop the netherite boots in. And it'll give us our netherite ingot. Or not. It's just going to give us a diamond. What the fuck? Well, luckily, apparently I am so fucking blind... <laughs> Because we've, we've got another netherite ingot right here, so all of that was actually for no reason. I am so smart. Please, I am begging you, believe me. There we go. Just from that alone, we now have one, two, three, four, five, and one stacks of netherite. So that's... That's a win. Let's let's go do something with this, shall we? And you know what? We don't even need to take any diamonds from this chest right here. Instead, we can just take the... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How? 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 What? There is no way that should have detonated. It was so far away from me. It, it would have had to have jumped on here and then jumped continuously while fucking detonating. Hey there, comments. Come up with a racial slur I can use against creepers, please. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that you can't actually just craft netherite armor. You have to use a smithing table, and you have to put the netherite onto diamond armor, if I'm correct with this one. So let's let's just check. Netherite. Here we go. Uh, ooh. You can make a lot of stuff with netherite. You can even make an elytra template. That's pretty cool. Uh, nanorite structure frame. Mirrors. Uh, why, why the hell does a mirror require netherite? Uh, a huge fluid tank. Uh, an elite centrifuge casing, a netherite to all the modium furnace upgrade, a netherite furnace. Actually, that might be worth investing in. Um, you can make a lot of stuff with netherite. But no armor. Right then. Guess we've got to make a smithing table. Which is two iron and some planks. All very doable. There we go. And you know what? While we're here, let's just uh, chuck that in there. So that we've actually got a little bit more space, and we can put this thing, uh, I guess up here, really, since this is technically the tool shed. Let's put it here. Right then, so we don't have any armor on us right now. We, we are quite literally armorless, there is nothing for us to apply it to. So let's start with our weapons. I can turn my diamond uh, malt niceborn blood-seeking sword with vigilante 2 and life-leeching and turn it into uh, a netherite uh, molten iceborne blood-seeking sword. Just like that. And then let's do the same for the pickaxe. It actually gives it back some durability as well, which is really nice. Let's do it for the shovel. There we go. And then let's do it for the axe, which doesn't have anything special on it, but you know what, just to complete the full set, why not? Can I put netherite on my gun? No. Okay, I... I kind of figured that that would be the case, but you know, it, it's, it was worth trying. And you know what, while we're here, since I actually have the diamonds on me, let's just whip up a quick set of diamond armor. So let's just uh, get some of those blocks, and let's set up ourselves with a set. I really need somewhere to dump my inventory, hold on. There we go, this chest's empty enough, let's just dump all of our crap in here. And with our crap dumped, and with a full set of brand new diamond armor, now all we have to do is take off the armor, put it in the smithing table, and we will be ready to fight this wither. There we go, we even got the achievement, cover me 
in debris. And the best part is, you don't even have to see it. My skin can remain completely pure and uncovered because of this funky little icon right here. This allows me to hide the armor. I- it is genuinely one of my favorite mods. Like, even if you don't think my skin is, like, all that great to look at, personally, I just like the idea of not having to cover up, you know, my Minecraft identity just to wear armor. So, yeah. Really like this mod. Ow. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god! I I actually it, it just ran out of EMC, didn't it? Oh my god! I actually just died to fall damage. This is fucking ridiculous. Okay, well, there's no one here to revive me, so um, time to go collect my stuff. We're off to such a good start. Right then, so now that we've got our stuff back, I think we actually should go and uh, charge up our Klein Star before we, um, you know, go and fight the fucking Wither. Like, I know you can't usually fly when you're trying to kill the Wither, but since I've got that option, I'm going to take that option. And let's just plop this up here. And just like that, we're ready to go. Let's not fuck this up this time. Okay, so we have a few places we could go to fight this guy. I'm thinking let's go to the cave. It's a confined area. There's nothing in here that can... It, it can't fly away. The only thing it can really risk damaging is the way back. And to be completely honest, we're not actually that far away from the... From the, uh... From the guy's view. We're, we're, we're just down here. So really, there's nothing to worry about. Although, one thing I wish I'd done before setting off is, uh... It's in this back backpack, isn't it? Yeah, duping the enchanted golden apple. You know what? I, I think I might go back and do that. Give me a second, guys. Excuse you, where the fuck did you come from? I'll fix it later. Okay, so now that I've got the gapples, let's put down the soul sand. One, two, three, and four. It's kind of hard to see down here, but I really don't think that's going to be, be an issue for much longer. Um... Let's uh, grab the gapples. Let's pre-eat one, uh, just so that we don't have to gap up uh, once the fight's already begun. And then it's uh, one, two, three. There we go. Right then, let's just back away from that guy. Wait till he finishes charging. And now let's try and kick his ass as quick as we can. Wow, guys, we we did it. We just beat the wither, guys. Yay. That 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 was that was such a a, a difficult battle. <laughs> wow. I actually kind of let down by that. I I was expecting this sort of high stakes, high intensity fight, but I I think I might have outgeared the wither by accident. I I I, I didn't think my sword was that strong. I'm going to be real honest here. Um I don't think I even needed armor, to be honest. I I think I could have kicked, kicked that guy's ass without any armor at all. Uh, but you know, plus side, we got the Nether Star. Yay! You know, worth celebrating. We also got a withering soul and a and a, and a gift because I I think we actually leveled up our mastery of death doing that. So if we if we just open up the the gift, and uh, we get what did we, what did we get out of that? We got oh, the ancient tablet of cupidity. This can bring you fortune even if you have returned. Uh, the item looks safe to use. Right click on a grave soul to enchant. I don't know what this does, but it sounds good, so I'm going to keep a hold of it for now. What else did we get? Because we got a lot there. We got mastery one. Reach the level 10 in knowledge of death. Kill an undead boss. Uh, discover an ancient tablet and create a magic tablet, which, you know, we didn't, but I guess uh, the person that set up the mod... Forgot to differentiate. Uh, but we need to click here to level up our death stats, right? So, what, 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 is, what is this? Uh, light one, protect against undead. Can convert zombie villages using the Ankh. So, I, yeah, that's a thing I can do now, apparently. And prayer protection. I can protect villages from a future death. 
Cool. I definitely know how to do this stuff. Um, Shadow Walker? What, 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 what does this do? Uh, ghostly Shape. Uh, Disenchanter. Uh, wait, Disenchanter? I can disenchant things? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna get that. Can I... How many points do I have? I had a lot of points saved up. I can disenchant... Five to six uh, enchantments. That's that's pretty good. I have no idea how to use him. But that's pretty good. I uh, oh, I can use the compendium to like learn new stuff about this mod. Uh, I'm getting distracted. Let's go uh, duplicate the Nether Star. All right, then. So let's just take an extra stack of these so that we just have them on standby, and let's drop the Nether Star up here. And now I see why people refuse to include this mod in other mod packs because we now have a stack of Nether Stars. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess with this uh, resource pack, it's another cubes, but um, I, I really don't think that's the important part right now. I'm going to be real honest. So just grabbing the uh, dimensional shards to take with us on this one. Let's head back up to the computer. Now all we have to do is search up shield generator, look for the shield projector type 4, click on this, and we now have a shield projector type 4. <sighs> Technically speaking, this would be where this episode would usually end, but um, we usually record for two hours when we do Anadonia, and it's been about 40 minutes. So let's do some more shit while we're here. First things first, let's duplicate the shield projector, because, I mean, we need a lot of these. Uh, but after that, we need to actually build uh, these things here. We need a lot of these blue shield templates, so we need a lot of wool, we need some glass, and we need some blue dye, which we have. Uh, oh, it has an EMC value. We're gonna be fine. Oh, these are really expensive. This is 454,000 EMC. How much is a, how much was a nether star? A single nether star is worth less, which makes sense, but Jesus. Let's sacrifice half of these. There we go. Uh, 14, that should be enough. Right, now we need to count how many of these I built, because I did not keep track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because there's one buried in the forest, eleven. Okay, so we technically have three more of these than we need, but it's not as simple as just putting these down. Let me show you. So if I was to just put this shield generator down inside of this shield generator casing, I would be given this menu right here, okay? It looks very complicated, that's because it is, annoyingly so, um, but it requires power, and alongside power, it also requires something to turn it on and off. So what we're going to have to do before we can even set up one of these is we're going to have to come up with a way to give it power and we're going to have to find a way to wirelessly turn it on and off. Now there is a way of doing this and that way is quite simple actually, although it's very expensive. Let me show you, hold on. Oh, that was a lot more expensive than I was expecting. I believe they may have changed the recipe since the last time I saw this because I'm pretty sure it doesn't contain an obtainium. Uh, but I don't think we have an Obtanium, and I don't remember how to get it. I think you have to find it in the end, which, I mean, on its own wouldn't be too difficult, but I mean, because of the lore of the series, I kind of need Ruby here to do that. So, let's see if there's another way to do this. I'm thinking solar panels. Okay, so we've got a wide choice of panels that we can use. We can, we can either do... Uh, litherite, which is like tier one, I believe, but litherite requires litherite bulls, and I'm pretty sure you can only get those through using the Envirotech miners, which, I mean, we were gonna set up at one point, we just didn't have time to. Uh, we can also use the solar generator from Mechanism. Uh, it looks kind of expensive, but I don't think it is. Yeah, this is well within our wheelhouse. We could do this, but then we'd have to set up the cables, which is gonna take a while. Um... You know what? I think this might be the way to go. I think we should build ourselves some mechanism solar panels and then set it up with some energy cables leading into here from the bottom. I swear I can hear something being whispered. Weird. But the matter of the power aside, we also then have to deal with the issue of turning it off and on again because we don't want the shield on all the time. We only need it in case of emergencies and there isn't much space in these machines 
uh, for that. So what I think I might have to do is, if we have the power come up from the bottom, we can put in some wireless redstone in this center capsule here. It might look a little strange, but it would definitely work. So, let's make the wireless redstone segments first. Because in my expert wisdom, that's what we're doing. 